Hey guys, Victoria here and welcome to the Geeky Sandbox. And we are back with our initial geeky thoughts. And this one's gonna be over the movie Evil Dead Rise. I think it's safe to say most people have heard of what Evil Dead is. Whether you've played the game, whether you've seen a meme, whether you know that horror exists. <laughs> Evil Dead Rise was a movie that I was actually pretty terrified to go see. One of my best friends, Carolina, was talking about it and she and her boyfriend went to see it and she was absolutely terrified. And I was just like, no, there's no way I'm going to go see it. And usually uh, Steven and I go to see most movies together, but there are some that I go and see on my own because I love my movie time. And also I am more of a horror fanatic than he is. I knew Evil Dead Rise might be one of those movies that I would need to go see by myself. So. One night, told a night, I went to go see Evil Dead Rise and I don't know. Here's the thing, I had fun watching it and I would definitely recommend everyone go see it for a really good scare, but I don't think it was as scary as I was expecting it to be. But that doesn't take away from what they were trying to achieve. So let me talk about it really quick. My five things that I think you should know about this movie. One, they didn't hold back. <laughs> whether you were a child, elderly, whatever, they were like, this This demon was coming for you. <laughs> it did not matter. And that was terrifying in itself. I thought that they did really, really well with that. Two, I thought the tension that they built in the movie was very, very well done. Whether it was looking through a keyhole or whether it was them finding the book for the first time in the movie, those things were executed very nicely. Three, some of the characters were not memorable. The performances were nice, but I think the way some of the characters were written weren't memorable. And it's kind of hard to juggle that when you are doing a horror movie, but we're past the point where horror movies can't have characters that are memorable. Especially because we have one of our main characters, Lily Sullivan, who plays Beth. And she was supposed to carry the entire movie. And kind of leading up to that point, you kind of don't, you kind of begin to understand who they wrote her to be, but then it, I mean, shit just hits the fan and it's go time. You kind of lose a couple of things here and there with everything. The makeup was great. I mean, Evil Dead doesn't really have a hard time with the makeup. And so I'm happy that that's something that stuck, whether it was like the camp that was in the first movie or going back to, you know, where we are now. I thought that Alyssa Sutherland as Ellie did great. The makeup, the practicality, the way that she put her body into the performance, terrifying stuff. Five, I'm a little torn about the new location. I am happy that we're out of the woods, but I don't know if it offered exactly what they were hoping for. I think maybe the new setting was supposed to offer something maybe fresh. I want to know your thoughts. Have you seen Evil Dead Rise? My feelings are a little mixed. I thought it was better than the 2013 one for sure, but I think it was kind of like average. It didn't do as much for me as I wanted it to do, but I was still thinking about some of the scary parts of the movie when I went home. But yes, guys, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a like rating down below. And if you are new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can get more videos like this. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.